Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy. And here in this video, we are going to discuss a very important GET CS 2004 question. The question is very interesting, and I hope that after watching this video, you will get to learn new concept of algorithm. Right. So let's start. Question is: Consider the following program fragment for reversing the digits in a given integer to obtain a new integer. Let n equals to d1, d2, dot 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 up to dm. The program fragment is integer n reverse, that is REV. REV initially initialized with zero, while n is greater than zero, REV equals to REV into 10 plus n modulus 10. n equals to n divided by 10 then, right? The loop n variant condition at the end of ith iteration is. So loop invariant is, it is a condition in which after each iteration, the loop is true, the value of loop will be true. So you can understand this example by taking any particular value of n, let's say n equals to 123, let's say. So in first iteration, it will check n is greater than zero, yes, it is greater than zero. So what it will write, it will write the value of REV as initially n equals to 123, REV equals to zero. So n equals to 123 means simply you can say that d1 equals to 1, d2 equals to 2, and d3 equals to 3. That is d1, d2, d3. And REV initially it is 0. Now, it is the initial condition. In first iteration, what will happen? The value of REV is initially 0. 0 into 10, that is 0. Plus 123 modulus 10. What I will get? I will get 3. So in first iteration, the value of REV is three. And what is value of N? N equals to N divided by 10. So if you will divide 123 by 10, what you will get? The value of N would be 12. So you can write this three as a D3. And this N is nothing but D1, D2. It is first iteration, right? It is first iteration. In second iteration, in second iteration, the value of REV would be REV into 10. What is value of REV? 3. 3 into 10, that is 30. Plus N, value of N is 12. If you will see here, value of N is 12. 12 modulus 10, that is 2. So 30 plus 2, that is 32. I am repeating again. Value of REV is 3. And N modulus 10, N is 12. 12 modulus 10, that is 2. So 30 plus 2 is 32. And value of n would be n. What is value of n? 12. 12 divided by 10. What I will get? I will get 1. Now in third iteration, in third iteration, the value of REV would be REV equals to REV into 10. 32 into 10. 32 into 10. That is 320. 320 plus n modulus 10. n is 1. 1 modulus 10. 1. So 321. I am repeating again, REV here is 32. So in third iteration, 32 into 10, 320. Plus the value of N here is 1. 1 modulus 10 is 1. So 320 plus 1, that is 321. And the value of N would be 1, that is this 1, divided by 10, that is nothing but 0. So if you will see here, if you will see here, what, what we are getting value initially, it, it is D1 and it is nothing. So if you will see here, the value of REV is initially D3. Then here we are getting 32. That is nothing but D3, D2. So after it is becoming D3, D2. Then if you will see here, in third iteration, it is D3, D2, D1. So REV is clearly you can see DM, DM minus 1, DM minus 1 plus 1 like that it is going on if you will see here. And the value of N is, if you will see here, value of N is initially 123, that is D1, D2, D3. After that, it becomes D1, D2. After that, it becomes D1, right? If you will see here. So this is nothing but option A. So clearly option A is the correct answer, which is matching with this loop invariant condition for this program fragment, right? I hope that this solution will gonna help you. Further, if you have any kind of doubt or any kind of query in this solution, do comment in the comment section and I will try to resolve all your doubts and query as early as possible from my side. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.